back with Bobby and JJ Radio. We have uh, Miss Dr. Shelley Roth. Uh, she is actually a professor at the University of Texas, San Antonio, but she's talking about her company, Arbonne. Um, so, Shelley, first of all, thank you, or Dr. Roth, thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you. Uh, let's go right into Arbonne. Tell us everything about this company. Well, it's a 37 year old company. Um, it's a global company. It's in the United States, UK, Europe, Canada, um, even Taiwan and New Zealand. And um, it's a pretty large organization. And it was started by a man named Petter Mork. He's a Norwegian. And he wanted to start a company working with Swiss scientists to develop natural products for the skin and for nutrition. Right. And um, they developed these let's say, highly nutritious and healing products that really, they're such high quality, they couldn't be sold in a store if you had to pay for the department store, for the employees. Sure, um, all the overhead for it, yeah. Yeah, it would just be too expensive. Sure. And so a way to market them and bring them the price to something that's available to everyone um, was to do it through network marketing. And I discovered Arbonne at one point about six months ago and fell in love with the products. Sure and decided I wanted to become an independent consultant and, right. and represent them. Awesome. Yeah. So is that kind of how you, so how did you come across it yourself or how did you get into it? Well actually um, for about 10 years I had a really serious problem with rosacea which is a pretty common problem with the skin where it gets inflamed um, and infected and Just randomly? Oh no, people who have Irish heritage are more prone to it than others, gotcha. although lots of people of different ethnicities can have it. Mm -hmm. But I'd had it for about 10 years and no dermatologist was able to help me. I tried antibiotics, I tried um, different prescription skincare products and I'd finally gotten to the point last summer where I couldn't use sunscreen um, I couldn't put anything on my face. I was just washing it with water and a washcloth. That's it. Wow. And a friend of mine who um, sells Arbonne products had asked me to try it, and I was like, as usual, no, you know, I really can't put anything on my face. And what she, was the actual product that she um, It was part of their anti-aging skincare mm -hmm. line called RE9. Mm -hmm. And um, when I tried it, she asked me just to take it home for a few days. I discovered my face did not get inflamed, so mm -hmm. hey, this is great. Um, I actually teach in a study abroad program in Spain, mm -hmm. and I took it with me for two months. And over that period of time, um, something unexpected happened was my rosacea completely cleared up. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't taking it for that. I was taking it for the anti-aging, um, you know, get rid of the wrinkles mm -hmm. around the eyes and all that. Um, but what I realized is that several of the products, um, they're all based on plant botanicals. Mm -hmm. They are animal free. They are petroleum free. Um, dairy-free, gluten-free, um, pretty much anything that you could be allergic to mm -hmm. um, in it. And there's the plant botanicals that they use must have healing properties. I mean, I'm a living testament mm -hmm. to that um, alone. And what I decided to do was to share this with my friends and family, and then I got excited about the idea of offering it to other people. Mm -hmm. Um, so what I do is I offer educational workshops mm -hmm. um, on the importance of using plant-free and animal-free, I mean, excuse me, animal-free and uh, petroleum-free products. Mm -hmm. um, I also introduce the Arbonne line. In addition to skincare, there's also um, sunscreen, there's baby okay. care, and there's also nutrition products. Um, for example, they have um, a, ho a whole set of um, nutrition products as in protein shakes, mm -hmm. Um, let's say products that you would use for sports nutrition um, as well as vitamins and things like that. So why, why get your protein shake if I can just get them many or like you know a GNC or... Yeah what separates that protein to... That's an awesome question. Number one thing for me is that it tastes good. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, there's yeah. so many of those products that I bought and spent a lot of money on a big bag of it and end up putting half of it in the trash can in the end. It real they really taste good. It only comes in chocolate and vanilla, but there's recipes to make it all different flavors, adding fruits and vegetables to it, you know, in your blender. Um, but what I think is really important about it is the actual ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, it is vegan, meaning um, dairy-free. Mm -hmm. um, there's no whey. There's only three main ingredients, and that is pea protein, cranberry protein, and rice protein. They also add a little bit of sweetener to help with the taste. 
and some vitamins. Mm. And you can read that on the package. That's all that's in it. There's not these weird, complex no, names that you can't pronounce? Not all of their products, even their skin kind of products. You look on the back, it's a short list, right. and you see things you recognize. And this is kind of what sold me on it. Sure. Quick yeah. takeaway. What about, you, you know, I'm not a vegan, so why do I care if it's animal products or not? Um, good point. And um, I'll just say very briefly without sure. going into the horror stories and sure. all that. But you got to think about it this way. The cosmetics industry needs fillers for its products. And these usually come from animal pro byproducts, which is the animal fat and other parts of the animal that is boiled down. And then they extract and use those in their products. But the question is, where do they get those animals? They don't go hunting for them. Right. You know, like in Texas. You mean it's like um, roadkill? It's roadkill. <laughs> it's diseased farm animals that can't be used for food. Mm. It's euthanized pets. Mm. It's animals that can be purchased. Hashtag yuck. So yeah. if someone wants to get m some products, where can they go to? How can they find you? Well, it's not in stores. It's not on the Internet. It's not in magazines. Um, you have to contact an independent consultant like me. Sure. And there's lots of people like me in San Antonio who are representing this product. How can they get a hold of you? Um, well, the best way is to contact me through my email address. Which is S-E-R-O-F-F -F dot A-R-B-O-N-N-E at gmail.com. That's right. Cool. Take a quick break. Be right back.